Hello. Um, I've taken a break in the uh, the Dale Side series. Series is four beers. I've done. I've done three. Yeah, I've done three of them so far. I've got one left. Um, and I said last one I'd do them all in a row, but uh, I decided to take a break. So I really fancy this beer. So we'll do the other one next time. Um, this is another Yorkshire beer. This is a very famous Yorkshire beer brand, and I've reviewed a couple of theirs, and I love their beers. Samuel Smiths, and it's their take on an imperial stout, which is a Russian style of stout, um, a strong stout basically. Have you done this one already? And uh, no, I haven't done this one. No, okay. I've done a couple of Samuel Smiths ones. I've done the imperial stout. I've never had this one. I'm familiar, very familiar with imperial stouts. I've had a fair few, and I love them. Um, the best one I've had to date is Brooklyn Black Chocolate Stout. Oh, 10%. Uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, it tastes lovely. It's like drinking silk. Um, this, I'm sure, is going to be good because Sam Smith's a very, very good quality beers. Um, the Imperial Stout is basically it's when they used to take... It's a special type of stout they used to brew for the Tsar of Russia or something. Obviously, to take it, it had to be stronger to survive the journey overseas. You know, well hopped and things, so it's just a strong stout. It's seven percent on the ABV, hence the small bottle. Uh, most beer brands you'd get, most companies would give it a three thirty ml bottle. This is a three fifty five because it's Sam Smith. It's all about the beer. Um, like you get a five hundred and fifty instead of a five hundred ml for the big bottles as well. Of Sammy Smith. There's the label. It's um, there's a bit of a story on the back, as there always is with Sam Smith beers, but you always get a very very decorative label. Um, gold and white and black, just to the point. Imperial's dad. A little Yorkshire white rose on the top there as well. It's their trademark. Um, obviously I can't use my Sam Smith's glass. Well, I, I could really, but it's a pine glass. I'd rather use something like the, a trusty tulip glass for a beer like this. Golden Drak, which is uh, Dutch for Golden Dragon. I say Dutch, Flemish. It's pretty much the same language. Um, Right, 15 degrees centigrade. You do not want these sort of stouts, Imperial Russian stouts, you do not want them cold by any means. It's soon to be room temperature than cold, but this is 15 degrees, so it's just slightly higher than cellar temperature. Uh, right, it smells amazing already. Uh, right, let's get a bit of this out. Be careful here, or I'm going to get a monster head. Very, very dark brown. Right, that'll do just for the smell. Are you saying to me? Yeah, well, I'm just pouring it. But yes, this is it. As you can see, oh, hang on a minute, we haven't got the main light on. Can you see me okay? Yeah. Okay, can you put it on anyway? On the safe side. I bet I can see my pretty face even more now. Mm. I've poured it purposely so there's no head so I can smell it. It's fairly thick looking on the texture as you can see it's it's very very dark. You pour it it's a dark brown you can just see through it and you hold it up to the light though and it's all that volume together. There's a little brownie hue around the bottom other than that it's black. You can't really see through it. Just a ready orangey hue around the edge. Um, if there's any carbonation in that, which there obviously is, um, you can't see it for the colour. So yeah, let's get a Ooh, a bit of sweet vanilla in there. It's definitely dark and roasted. Um, not as strong as I thought it would be actually. It's quite a mellow smell for this sort of beer. But then again, as far as uh, Imperial Stouts go, alcohol-wise, this is about as low as it goes. Seven percent. They only get higher from there. Um, yeah, it's um, fruity, oaked almost, even though I'm sure there's no oak in it. Deep smell. Um, it's your typical dark fruity smell, but there's a bit of light fruit in there as well, maybe like a, like a red grape or something, sort of lifting up a bit. A bit of a whiny smell. And then just deep, dark, roasted chocolate malt. Do you like a smell, do you? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Okay, so yeah, it's it's not so heavy, but it's pretty full-on smell. I'm going to pour it out now and get get into it. I'll try and get the whole lot in the glass. 
with a still a decent enough head, which is what you want on these beers, eventually. There you go. As you can see, it's slightly off white. Pretty good. It's typical Sam Smith, it's, it's sticking, it's just gloopy and lovely and creamy. There you go. Fantastic. Cheers. Oh, oh, that's good. First thing you notice when you put it in your mouth, you think you'd expect it to be thick and sweet. It's not. Um, there's a bit of sweetness towards the end on your tongue, but the first when you first put it in, it's like it's almost savoury. It's just that roasty malt taste, um, a dark roasty malt taste, although not too dark, it's not, it's not very very burnt tasting like you would expect. Medium to heavy bodied, it's not a full on heavy bodied beer. It does, um, the carbonation soon disappears, it's definitely there but it feels, it clings to your mouth, it's like, you know, smooth and creamy feeling. That head soon disappeared, didn't it? Um, so, which is alright, really. Um, it's just it's bittersweet, but just more bitter than sweet. Um, it's hard to, it's quite complex, it's hard to really put my finger on anything here. I'll give it another shot. It's very nice, though. Yeah, like I say, it's deep, dark, roasted. It's like um, like a chewy toffee, sort of caramelly, vanilla-y sort of taste. Um, like, you know when you chew a toffee, like a really creamy toffee, and you can feel the residue in your mouth? It clings a bit like that, and it's got that sort of a taste to it. That sort of sweetness that you can lick your lips and still taste it. Mm. Um, but like I say, it's definitely, definitely not sickly. Yeah, carbonation dances on your tongue to start with, it's nice. Um, it's, it's fairly, it's not the best Imperial style I've had, because it's quite a, I mean, that Brooklyn um, black chocolate stout. I've done a review of that very early on in my reviews. Um, that's that's set the bar right up there. So <laughs> Sam Smith's on no smart Sam Smith's. And I love Sam Smith's beers, but <clears throat> in this style, it's going to be very very hard to beat that uh, the black chocolate one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, it's 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 fairly easy going. This it's a sipping beer definitely. You don't want to guzzle it down because it will be fairly heavy. Although it's not very heavy, it's still fairly heavy. That roastiness does give way to something sweet, it's like brown sugar. Like a an espresso coffee sort of taste with a bit of sugar in it. So yeah, it's really really good. Um as it as are all Sam Smith beers. There you go, there's that label again. It's fermented in the Stone Yorkshire Squares as all their beers are. And it's their Imperial Stout. Um I'll tell you what it says on the back, it says this distinctive type of beer was originally brewed to withstand the abuses of shipping in foul weather to Imperial Russia, which is what I said at the beginning. Um, it was a favourite of Russian nobility whose taste for the finest food and drink was world famous. Rich flavourful brew, deep chocolate in colour with a roasted barley nose and flavour. That's what it is, it's barley. Flavour that is a complexity of malt, hops and alcohol and yeast. When I say, obviously it's barley, but when I say that, it's like, um, you know when you have barley water, like Robinson's barley water or something. That smooth, sort of grainy taste you get, the feel, but you sort of taste it a little bit, don't you? It's got a bit of that in it. See, I never bothered to read the bottle before I cracked on this review, but yeah, that explains it. But it's a little bit savoury as well, so that's good. That balances it out nicely. So yeah, Samuel Smith's Imperial Stout, seven percent ABV. 
well worth checking out if you can get hold of it. Uh, come up to North Yorkshire, it's easy. Um, just go to Lewis and Coopers in North Allerton. There you go. That's where I got that from. Not that I'm trying to plug this up. Otherwise, it's um, you probably get it from the old Sam Smith pub. Um, specialist beer shops. You'll easily get it online, I'm sure. So yeah. Cheers, folks.